Hey guys, Key from Keglan, and today we're talking about CIP. And when I say CIP, I mean cleaning in place. So typically a lot of large breweries or commercial uh, food production facilities would use CIP as a means to recirculate some type of liquid, usually caustic or acid or something nasty like that, where you really don't want to be in contact with that and touching it with your hands. And also you don't want the labor cost of getting inside a tank and scrubbing it down and stuff like that uh, manually. So you would use CIP to basically clean that tank out. And it's a real luxury for people who have tanks with CIP systems, because you can literally turn on a few switches, heat up the liquid and then put dose with a certain chemical in there and it'll clean the tank out automatically. And if you've got a well-designed CIP system, it'll cover the whole internals of the walls of a tank. Now, one of the issues with CIP, and I see this all the time on forums, and I see this on uh, Facebook and stuff like that, where a lot of home brewers try and use CIP, but they only have access to these types of CIP devices. So I've got like, for instance, this is a typical type of spraying CIP ball. This would fit into the top of a fermenter or brewery or something like that. And this is driven typically with a large pump. And they really need a large pump because they're directing liquid in all different directions simultaneously. As you can see here, we've got these various different sort of fans or fins here where liquid's gonna be squirting out. And because it's squirting out in all those di directions simultaneously, they require a pump generally of like 500 watts or one kilowatt or even larger to drive them properly. And typically what I've seen is a lot of, um, you know, small home brewers try to use CIP and it just kind of like barely touches the sides of the tank and sprays out of here without really any force and often doesn't get high up inside the tank because it's just not driven by enough power. So typically a lot of small breweries, so a lot of breweries which are under a couple hundred litres or under a hundred litres, let's say, they don't need a big pump. Generally, a, uh, you know, five, six, 10 watt, 20 watt, 30 watt pump is plenty. But we see people sometimes then going, oh, it's not enough to drive my CIP. So they go out and purchase a way bigger pump than what really is you know, well matched to that brewery size just so they can use a CIP device. And that seems a little bit silly to us. So what we've done is we've come up with a much more efficient CIP device, which basically looks like this. So it's plastic, it's inexpensive, it's easy to use, and you can add it onto really small breweries, even our, you know, Brazilla 35 litre. And because it works in a different way, it is much more efficient at basically spraying the jet of liquid out to the side wall of the tank at high velocity, mainly because it's got a singular jet and it's directing that liquid off in a singular direction at once. And as the head rotates around like that, it has these various different or six different jets, various different angles, shooting up and high and low and up against the lid or in different directions like so. And basically that's what gives you your CIP cleaning power. So you can get away with a very small six watt pump. So that's a six watt pump you can see on our website. Obviously it works even better with uh, you know larger pumps too, but that's all you need. A six watt pump from our testing was enough to throw uh, a far enough distance away from the head that you could even clean out a tank which is one meter in diameter up with six watts. And that sort of shows you how efficient this little head is. So it's sold in a kit. We basically have a few different parts in the kit like this. So we've got some silicon tube. We've also got this little, uh, you know, coupling, half inch coupling here to attach to the top. But look, I'm gonna set up a brewery. I've already just finished a porter, which I was doing early on today. So I'm gonna clean out that brewery with this CIP and show you how it works and show you how to put it together. So when you get the CIP device, you'll notice it comes with these four different parts. I've got the red plastic bit. Now this is a highly chemically resistant plastic. So there's no problem using things like uh, caustic or acid or acetic acid or periacetic acid. Mind you, most of you guys at home, because you know you could be around kids or something like that, I'd recommend just using the powdered brewery wash because it works really well. It's highly effective. We've got seven agents in there and it's also effective against a wide range of different soiling conditions as well. So to put it together, you've got this uh, nut and barb, a stainless, stainless nut and barb, which attaches to that plastic part, part. This is the same nut and barb as on the base of the Brazilla tap as well, I should say. So if you haven't lost yours, you know, this comes with another one in the kit. Basically push the barb on like this, pushing the O-ring side in first, then get this little coupling nut there and do that up like that. And then of course, you can use this device here. So this is a silicon tube. We give you a bit of free silicon tube with it. Normally when you buy your Brazilla, you're gonna have some silicon tube already included. But look, my 
personal preference is not to use this silicon tube. It's okay, we give you a large diameter so it fits a large number of different barbs. It is a bit of a loose fit on this particular hose here. So sometimes I prefer, if I am fitting it to this like that, I prefer to use a hose clamp on here as well. The butterfly ones are pretty easy to use. Or I've also got like a spring type clamp like this, which works pretty well. You just push it in and then you can push it up and down and it will spring closed on it. With that said, I'm gonna show you another little tip, which is the Flexi Arm. So the Flexi Arm, I feel, is a much better product for the job. And I've fit this one up with a, um, a cam lock on one side. That way, when I get to this process in the cleaning, I can just take off the standard arm and leave my normal silicon tube attached. So just remove it like that. And then what I do is get the Flexi Arm and attach this one, which is my CIP arm. So. What I do in this instance is get this device. I don't need this uh, nut and barb tail anymore. So I take that off. And then because this is a standard half inch, I basically just screw this onto the CIP uh, flexi arm like that. And now what I can do is I can kind of position this and maneuver it where I want it to be. So typically I find the best thing to do when using this type of arm is to actually position it so it's just under the lid, but not so far under that it's um, you know not 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 having liquid come in contact with the lid. So once you, as you can see, once you've got the flexi arm fitted, you can kind of bend it to any different direction you want. Now I've got a pretty long flexi arm fitted. You don't actually have to get this length. You can make it smaller if you want, or buy the smaller one on the website. But basically, the flexi arm I've made it a little bit longer, so then I can actually wash out other devices as well, like a fermenter and stuff like that. Having a Brusilla, obviously, it's kind of handy because it heats the water up and the effectiveness of the solution is going to be greatly increased by increasing the water temperature. So that goes for pretty much any cleaning product, whether you're using caustic or acid, or in this case, I'm using the, the powdered brewing wash. So the effectiveness actually increases as the temperature increases, and you can actually decrease the concentration if you're increasing temperature. So you'll find that concentration, temperature is somewhat um, interchangeable. You can actually uh, you know, swap one out for another you know, to some degree at least. So what I was saying is basically I want to wash out this brewery and I want to make sure I get this in the middle so I can just position it like that. And this is something which is harder to do with silicon tube, I guess. Um, now when this uh, device turns on, you'll notice the head will wobble and this whole arm will wobble, but that's really not a big deal. In some respects, that randomness of it hitting the sides and wobbling around actually incre increases the effectiveness of the device. I should also say, the height is quite important too. So what I want to do is when I've got this going, I want it to basically be sitting so it's just under the lid like this, but not so low that it's sitting too low like that. Now, the reason for that is I also want to wash the lid. The lid does have a little lip on it like this. So when the liquid hits the lid, it should run down the sides like that. But because the way that we've designed these jets, some of the jets will be shooting actually in a reverse angle and shooting up high. Some of them shoot out sideways and some of them shoot a little bit lower. So basically when this is turned on, I'm gonna get good coverage and cover all the sides, including the overhangs of the lid as well. As you can see here, I've got that head spinning nicely, just hitting all different directions and spraying the underside of the lid as well. Look, this has only been going for about 60 seconds. It's already looking pretty good. I did have a pretty bad like Krausen ring when I first started. So before I actually fitted this, you could see a bad Krausen ring from all that protein buildup. And also there's a bit of grain dried up on the sides of the ferment, on the sides of the Brazilla. But as you can see, all of that is gone. And I reckon in another minute or so, I'll probably turn it off and turn this off and call it a day for the cleaning process. But ultimately, you know, this little uh, you know CIP device has done the job for me and saved me a fair bit of time and done a quite a thorough job of cleaning all the internals of the Brusilla. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy using this new low volume CIP device, which is specifically developed for small domestic users. So you don't have to have a huge brewery or a huge pump to enjoy the benefits of CIP. It's also not expensive at all. So really everybody can afford one of these and add it to their brewery. If you want to hear about any other cool stuff that's coming out, bottom right hand corner, hit subscribe now. And the other thing you can do is join our homebrew community group on Facebook. So go to Facebook, search Kegland Homebrew Community Group, join that one, and you can be in amongst the discussion with all the cool new stuff that we're bringing out too. All right, that's it, and hope to see you next time. Bye.